Good morning to you from Pirates and Restoration. Folks, you're staring at the uh, king of janky electrical setups. Uh, I've got the battery in here. It's hooked up to the starter solenoid, which is hooked up to the ignition switch, which is dangling precariously off the side of the truck. There's five gallons of gas in the tank as of like an hour ago for the very first time. Let's crank this thing over and try not to die. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, one-handed is impossible. Here we go. Got my hand on the ignition. That's awesome. The best thing about having glass uh, fuel filters is you can tell when the fuel's reached its destination, and in this case it has. It wasn't there a minute ago, so the next thing I need to see is it in here, which will probably be within one or two starts. Let's make it happen. Okay, we're seriously about to find out if my carburetor's set right because I got fuel squirting up into this filter now. Before we finally start this thing up, I want you to observe the setup. This is my throttle return spring. Totally legit. It's actually factory OEM from Mopar. Got this new old stock on eBay. Anyway, my also new old stock throttle linkage. Totally legit. Got that for like 400 bucks on Mopar Mall. Uh, and anyway, I've got fuel. You can see here, there's a little bit of like juicage happening at that... Uh, at that gasket, got plenty of fuel in the bowl, super exciting. And let's go ahead and crank this thing up and just see what happens. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ugh. I need to mount this better. This is not a good setup at all. Oh my gosh, I'm falling over. Hold have it 16 months into the restoration this is the first time it's run on gasoline off of a fuel tank uh and it, this is a really exciting moment thanks for being part of it thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh man it's always something always something that's oil